Hi, and welcome back to Feathers of Wisdom. I'm Stacy Brown, the Black Feather Intuitive. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I thought we'd talk about embracing wisdom and asking the Osho Zen deck for some guidance and advice on how to embrace wisdom. You might be asking yourself, well, that's kind of a you know, silly thing. Why would she choose to talk about embracing wisdom? Isn't it just the wise thing to do to embrace wisdom? And of course it is, but I don't know about you, but if, if you are human like me, there are many times when a friend has said something that really made sense, or I read some words of wisdom in a book, or I heard uh, a speaker um, give some words of wisdom, a little nugget to think about, and I went, oh, that is great, that's amazing. And then I leave there and I go, mm, but I, I don't really, I, I can't really apply that to my life, you know, that too many changes, too much to, to think about, uh, you know, what would happen if I actually did that, that, you know, maybe that's for that person, but it's really not for me. And then I don't apply the wisdom. Well, what good is wisdom if we can't apply it, if we can't embrace it? So I thought this might be an interesting topic to start your weekend. So I've got my Osho Zen deck. I'm going to shuffle this bad boy up. Ooh. Card popped out at me here. Friendliness. Number two, friendliness. This is beautiful. So let's talk about embracing wisdom with friendliness. The first thing that is coming to me on this is wisdom is your friend. Um, if there is something that you hear, something that someone mentions to you and it's an aha moment for you and you get tingles and chills or you just go, hmm, that really makes a lot of sense. I think I can apply that to a situation in my life. You are being friendly to the concept of wisdom. How many times have people given you advice, mentioned things to you, and for whatever reason you dismiss it? Or because of the individual that it's coming from, you really dismiss it. You think, oh please, like I'm not even listening to that idiot. Whatever the case may be, you dismiss it. You're not being friendly and open to the wisdom that it provides. And if you think about the word friendliness, it implies being open to another individual, being open to another person, being open to another energy, another perspective, a different point of view. And isn't that really what wisdom is all about? Um, wisdom doesn't necessarily have to be this completely life-shattering, life-altering thing. It can be words of wisdom for every day. It can be something tiny and so simple, and yet it makes so much sense and it really changes the way you approach things in your life. That's what wisdom is really all about. I would also like to point out, um, noticing this card, beautiful colors here, we've got pink and yellow coming together. And of course, it's making a little bit of orange here. And I don't know how many of you out there um, are familiar with the chakra system, but what we have here is with these beautiful trees, two trees, of course, trees of knowledge, trees of wisdom. Um, we have the color yellow, which is related to our solar plexus chakra. And this really talks a lot about our identity, our mastery and our co-creation. And if you're talking about embracing wisdom, what a perfect thing to, uh, to incorporate into your identity. Choosing to listen to, to apply wisdom that you hear that just resonates with you and makes a lot of sense. Applying it to your life and making those subtle changes makes your life better. And then you are actually living a wiser life and, and feeling better in your identity, feeling better about who you are and the choices that you're making. So I'm really drawn to the yellow color. And I'd like to talk about pink. Pink is all about unconditional love. And so when you are taking wisdom and applying it to your life, you are giving yourself love. You're giving yourself a hug. You're saying, okay, thank you universe. Thank you whoever just gave me this advice. Thank you author. Uh, thank you speaker. Thank you friend. Because this is just like a nice warm hug, a nice pat on the back, uh, a little um, heads up on how I can move forward and be successful and move into that zone of love that I'm assuming you would like to live in. Um, big assumption there. I imagine if you're listening to this and watching this, you probably do um, have a certain affinity for living in a place of love and always working towards that. Um, again, talking about the two trees, it's no mistake that we're getting trees as wisdom. Trees are stable and solid. And oftentimes people think about 
trees as being wise because they've been around for years and years and years. Imagine if a tree could talk, what it would have to say to you. There's a lot of wisdom held in the rings of those trees, in the bark of those trees, in the branches of those trees. So we're getting a little philosophical here. Um, but hopefully that sort of gives you a, a little bit more positive direction on how you can embrace wisdom to improve your life and move forward in the direction of your dreams. Till next time, take care.